Yeah. My initial thought is Zeus. Mm. But it's like a it's long spear, right? Yeah, ah. I thought it's a trident. I was yeah, I thought it was a trident, but it's a single point. What can I do for you, your eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Riche, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. So Okay. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how much the person you are talking to is confused. Okay. Well, thank you, Battle son. of the Wits. Battle of the Wits. That's in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Yes. Obviously, yes. She's been here for several weeks now. <laughs> Certainly. I love the chaos energy. Mother got here some time I'm ago. So tempted. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she no, must give it to me. <laughs> Ten minutes in, and attacking the Pope. Tomorrow, then. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest of love. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should this like guy, them to remain as such. Yes. If your mother wishes to speak to you about the us one day, yeah. I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's it's surely just an oversight. Are the tattoos uh, similar to what the tattoos You said you work together. Mm -hmm. What do you do no, as exactly. much as I do? <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, professional secrets. Yeah. If you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, your eminence. I'm sorry, but... Do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand and I expected nothing less from you. Discretion and, and secrecy <laughs> are both pillars of the organizations for which we work. You are the worthy son of Sarah. All the same. It bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, I'm like we've really always dead yeah. with her in person. Uh, I mean, the has always look really been cool. successful. Mm. Do you think I've never thought about getting a tattoo on my hands. It's re I've heard it's really painful. Uh, uh, okay, do you think I should give it to you? Um, I would say if they're giving us an option, yeah, we can use, use the our skills. skill. It's Only probably you know that, Your Eminence. If you're asking me if you can trust me, or if I can keep a He's secret, I would answer well. yes, absolutely. I understand. In truth, it all depends on the nature of the contents of your letter. He looks kind of evil. It is a list of okay. names. Mm. This list must be of extreme Funny importance. Quite Church. It's a list of people that your mother Probably must help. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Confrontation, last step. There you go. For the last step of the confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right one or you have no blunders left. Okay. The last step of the confrontation will repeat itself. Okay, so that's the loop. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? I, yeah, I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one so may God my strike mother me should cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. So dramatic. Listen, let's it's stop so, it. Everything is just so like grandiose. You mean the good ways for him? Are yeah. organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, 
Hundreds of men the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Well, we know what it contains. Yeah, it's like if, if, if that was so secretive, why would he tell us what's in the yes. letter? I guess it's specifically which are the 15 names, but I don't see how that helps us find another. Yeah. Okay. Hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. Explore. Yeah, so let's okay. go touch everything. Stay away from the people. Oh, that's so okay, let's Can we look check around. Out the paintings? Yes. That's Saturn devouring his son. Cronus devouring his son. Saturn Adam. devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Everything Cronus is being <laughs> I, I'm gonna Google it. Like the name of the painting is Saturn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I learned it. it I uh, learned about it. Mm -hmm. See this one? Yeah. There's one more. Wait. Let's take a guess. Take a guess. Uh, is it Saint Paul being crucified? Maybe. Because it looks like it's a crucifixion being turned upside down. Crucifixion of Saint Peter. Saint Peter. Sorry. Not he was crucified. That was pretty down. close, though. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> I remember because he, yeah, he crucified himself upside down because he felt like he wasn't uh, out of humility, as he said, because he didn't want to be crucified the same way as. Uh, but why Jesus. did he have to be crucified at all? For his crimes, or what he was. What for his crimes. Was What's that? That's Oedipus. 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 Blind Oedipus, blinded Oedipus. himself. What a tragic destiny. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Yep, something on the table. Yeah. Probably jelly or something. There's something beyond the chair, though. Okay. Devil's Thorn. Yeah. Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in a conversation. You cannot carry more than five. I was like, hell. Remember, there's something behind the chair. There's a Fallen bunch of chairs. Damned by Reuben. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. Collect for coins. You should probably check the menu at some point. He just keeps telling us to check the menu. We go back to the map quickly. Okay. Look how many floors there are. Stop. What? How do we go up and down? Oh, yes, we gotta take stairs. We the have stairs. stairs, but I feel like we first need to finish what's yeah. going on here. Okay, so Hillsborough She's Hillsboro immune to is, logic. Uh, Vivi, that's us. Kiaji, that's the... He's vulnerable to questioning. Sarah and the servants. So, this is gonna be all the characters. So, 4, yeah. 8, 12, 13, 14. 14 characters. And we've only met 4 of them. Yeah. Inventory. Okay. How do I consume my one skill point? Click it? No. Inventory. What's that other one? Science. Um, in one of the little thingies that come on the side before it said that if we keep the manuscript close to us right before going into confrontations or something, it gives a it can give us a point. Okay, what's the letter? Oh, that's the letters being handed to chips and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you click on those? Mm -hmm. No. But they do give us information and stuff. Mm -hmm. Talents and traits? What did you already check? Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> so... Yeah, these are all... So these aren't the ones we unlock, it's just as we play the game, we'll basically lean into... Okay, I think that's enough. Okay. 
better from the bed. Okay, are we ready to go to the people? Because I the don't. Other end of the hall? Or did we check that already? I think we checked that. But can we go upstairs? Can we? I thought we couldn't. I just arrived. It might be bad yeah. manners to go upstairs without being invited. <laughs> Those TikToks are just like what moms really think uh, have when guests show up. Like they just enter and immediately start rushing up to the bedroom to check to see. <laughs> A biography of the great men. <laughs> We're too dumb to read it. Oh, but we can take it though. Item added to inventory. There's a couple of new dog thingies. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away. It looks kind of close. Have you also yeah. just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. The thing Monsieur, around his neck kind of looks like the. You to Monsignor, his eminence, Illuminati. Cardinal Pierre. Yeah, the Illuminati kind of he stuff. Comes <laughs> straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. The yes. Templar Order. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last <laughs> to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Sounds like the beginning of a bad Morass, thing. Duchess, uh, it is an honor, uh, honor to meet you. Young man, oh, let's the president him the president the president walks into a, a, a bar. Our fancy titles. <laughs> nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never She's just vibing. Yeah. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've Everyone else is so dressed like appropriately for windy, And you like, haven't seen anything yet. Generally, yeah. Yeah. Well, whereas her, she's... Organizes one of his I mean, well, she wants to be fashionable. over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet, and you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Uh, mother, yeah. At the risk of disappointing you, we were mother. conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held I feel her like high school. Yeah. It so happens that Dang, Monsieur de well. Riche is... It's like when I have to I refill my well. bar, I just see like the oh, bottom pity. section. No I scrumptious nervous. gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or it's even so money matters. <laughs> but you'll see, it will come. Look at this mural in the background of that angry line. You line. can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> 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 well, my friends. Do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. So, but they haven't been invited by Lord Mortimer himself. By his they have all been. He's the only one that has been he invited by somebody else. He also has a moment else. to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake sure? the because world. Yeah, because he's specified that like, for of him he's been invited cussing. by Sir Horn. Whereas all the others are like the invited by Mortimer. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richard, At the dock, you come out here to join Sarah your and the Pope were talking and they, exactly? they said we've both been invited by Sir Holm. You got better memory than I. So if I understand rightly, Monsieur, you've come here to join your mother for what reason exactly? Invite like you, Don't Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> Who says that? Where are they getting these things from? Seriously, the is the Pope just like hitting his I head against the wall in the background? I think so. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. So Washington is who you go to for all the tea. Ooh, in a minute. Good Lord, Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent he looks case. He looks awful. Awesome. Imagine that waking you up in the morning. He can't oh, be present no. this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Uh, Do you know that man? 
Sir Gregory Hall, an English aristocrat, very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer, so don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. You look One so crusty. Mortimer's guests <laughs> is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Hall, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the pious side. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Um... <laughs> we can get the gossip from Washington. Yeah, he seems like a little bit of a boss. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. That sounded so passive aggressive. Yeah. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Uh, tell me more about Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and his advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington. You Why don't I tell very him? familiar yeah. with my mother. Lord Mortimer is really suspicious. What if he is he was kidnapped by Sarah? Or he's the one Sarah's hiding from? Something yeah. like that. Um, what are we doing? Look at that cool ram head in the background mm. there. Uh Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. How does he come to know her? When did he see her for the last time? I think that one. When did yeah. you last speak to her? Philadelphia. Fifteen years ago. So Sarah he's... often went back and forth between France and the United States. Yes, I remember those days. I didn't see her too often. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, mm -hmm. when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Um, the Golden Order, maybe? Um, I mean, if we're part of the organization, shouldn't we already know? Like, My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumors served me well, such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again, or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information. Thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. I think, what if Mother has left the island? You want to say that? Yeah. I wonder if Mother is still on the island. Could she not have taken a boat and left? I don't see how. 
No vessel can moor closer than 200 yards. Not to mention the permanent presence of staff and servants. There is one strange thing, I grant you. This island is barely the size of Delaware, and despite that, no one has been able to locate your mother. So my Does mother still must be on the island. Okay. I don't know if I can trust him. Yeah, no he question. seems a little too gullible. Yeah. I'm sure and he'll, bad has like, to gossip. Me. He'll yes, spread I, I the Yeah, because he trusts Mortimer, so he'll probably tell yeah. Mortimer. Careful, they're coming back. Mm -hmm. My hair looks so cool. Mm. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. Mm -hmm. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir Holmes, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Adams? Adams. Oh, that was not just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Uh, yeah. I have to like look around and see where all the dots Washington are. Washington looks surprised, but Holmes doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. The servant is the only one. Yeah. But the wigs and the mask, though, it's hard to tell yeah, them apart. Yeah, maybe they all look different. Beautiful. Ladies, mm -hmm. gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am born tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Horrible. Oh, man. Let's go touch quite a day. <laughs> right. Where is my room?